What's the motherfucking deal? Welcome back. Welcome back. Rolling up in this bitch. Shit dogs. Big Smith. Shit dog. Smith dog in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Welcome back. Dope Films Podcast, man. Dopest podcast in the world. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but, um, today we're about to shop, man. I need y'all to get y'all painted pads out. Or, um, open up a new tab. Whatever y'all gotta do. Because we're about to shop right quick. I gotta teach y'all niggas how to look for inexpensive equipment. And we're starting out, so you ain't got to be trying to maximize your motherfucking budget off rip. Like, you know what I'm saying? People think you could just go into the game and just like, shit, if I'm, I'm, I'm going to buy this camera, I'm going to get this and this and this. And you don't even know how to even work cameras yet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to teach y'all what to buy. They got enough settings that's going to have you familiar with m- at least the basic settings that will be on most cameras. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm going to show you all cameras to buy that if you was to learn this camera, you could switch and upgrade to upgrade cameras and you could still, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to be uh, too, um, what's the word? You ain't going to be too, unfam- you're not going to be unfamiliar with, with, um, as you level up in cameras, you're not going to be unfamiliar. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to know the the, the basic settings. You know what I'm saying? Like it's going the, the cameras that I'm gonna show y'all is going to have settings in them motherfuckers that um that almost all your professional cameras are going to have in them, and they're, they're very inexpensive. Um, we're gonna talk about lighting. We're gonna talk about audio which we don't we're not gonna talk about audio that much because we don't really need audio equipment when you first starting out because you um we focusing on shooting music videos and doing photos so you don't really need audio equipment it's not like you're gonna be shooting too much dialogue like kind of scenes like you know what i mean like you're not gonna be working with actors and shooting all that type of dialogue like that if you do shoot a little bit of dialogue it's okay. We I'll show you like some hundred dollar pieces. You know what I'm saying, just in case. You know what I'm saying. If you want to even do that, even though you don't have to. Um, yeah, man. Um, support the sponsor, DreamRealityBrand.com. Go buy them t-shirts up. You know what I'm saying. They hard, so it's not like you know. <laughs> it's not like you just buying some shit that you just you never gonna wear. It. Like this shit just is drip. You know what I'm saying. Go check that shit out. Um, follow me on the gram, Smitty Shot You. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit. Um, free decks today. No I'm talking shit. <laughs> but this nigga gotta get his fucking set up so we can do this shit together. You feel me? But whatever. You feel me? I'm grinding by myself right now. Uh, yeah, man. Let's get into it though, man. Uh, let me let me, let, me, let, me, let me chop it up with y'all. I roll up right quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell y'all about my day. You dig? I got some new motherfucking um, shit. You feel me? My headphones came. You know what I'm saying? These bitches was cheap. You know what I'm saying? Little Sony boys. They clean though. You know what I'm saying? They clean though. I, you know they was going to have two cords like this though. I ain't paid that no attention. That shit was kind of aggravating when I got them. But I'm like, man, I'm going to go and get me some one cord boys so you can have more. I mean, it just don't look player with the two. You know what I'm saying? So we rocking with these. I ain't going to lie to y'all. These bitches was 10 bucks on Amazon. You did. Just in case you niggas need something and y'all don't give a fuck about the tooth cord. You know what I'm saying? But that shit look lame to me, so. That's I'm, that's how I'm rocking. Yeah, man. I ain't got no sponsorship with him yet, but I'm I'm working on it. You feel me? I'm a trip. I'm working on me. I'm working on me. That's the key. Work on you. And then... All that kind of shit just come as a given, you feel me? Shout out Josh. You know what I'm saying? When I nigga, when I seen like, I, Wiz, Wiz is safe, but when I seen Chief Keith, I said, oh, this nigga, Josh fuck with street niggas. <laughs> when I seen Chief Keith had the sponsorship, nigga, I'm like, oh yeah, I need that raw sponsorship, Jack. 
Yeah, dig. Fuck that. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Josh. Duh, that's a funny nigga, man. That nigga really fuck with the hip hop community, man. And like, I ain't even gonna lie. Just in the last few years, man, rappers and shit really start fucking with Raws, man. Just because of the pre rolls stuff from be able to go like this, you know what I'm saying? I guarantee you that's why a lot of rappers fuck with these bitches. I've seen a lot of niggas. Especially then, that's a, it's a West Coast thing, too, you know what I'm saying? The smoke papers. It's, it's very West Coast, the smoke papers. So, like, I see a lot of niggas smoking joints on the West Coast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Money. You gotta put the stuff your material in and tap it 10 times, okay, guys? So you properly fill your cone with your material. Bitch, we're smoking weed over here, Jack. It's YouTube. All I gotta do is say it ain't for kids. You little nigga, stay your ass over there. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is get your brother to uh, get put it, put you on his uh, account so you can hit the age restricted button, and you good. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can learn how to be cameraman too. Y'all just gonna have to cheat. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something for kids though, like. I'm gonna figure something out for kids, dog. To, to, like, teach kids, like, how to be a like, little young nigga cameraman, like, how to be a child cameraman, you know what I'm saying? And what they should do and how they should move. Um, I think that'd be a good ass idea, because I know there's a lot of little niggas out there that want to be cameraman and shit that don't know how to start. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so, we're gonna get into it like this, man. Um, Cause I already know a lot of motherfuckers like man shit that's in the hood and y'all niggas is like nigga I don't even know where they go get none of this shit at like I know y'all niggas be like yeah I hear Amazon and all this but shit they don't know they don't mean that's the best bro they got the best prices and all that shit but so um I'm gonna just tell y'all what the industry standard B and H you know what I'm saying or you can um fuck with some local like Sammy's or um Procam. Some shit like that. Um, Best Buy got a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Walmart. You know what I'm saying? See, when you when you in the beginner shit, you ain't really got to have too much like crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Long as you got some shit that has settings that normal that most normal professional equipment would have, or or you're mediocre or like. Um, you're like, yeah, yeah, you're in between industry standard type of shit, shit that's professional, but the, like, like the big, um, production houses probably ain't going to use cause they, they need super powerful shit, but you know what I'm saying? So, um, them, them, them are the locations you want to be looking into. Um, I want to say. Majority of my equipment that I got come from the actual stores. Like, I like to just be hands-on, like, when I shop for equipment. Because I'm, you know, this is a business investment. So, I like to, um, I like to be in the store. Like, I like to talk to the people, like, you know what I'm saying? that Because nine times out of the people that work in the stores are people that's in the industry as well, you know what I'm saying? They just not good at it or something like that, or they learn it, so they just, you know, need the job to supplement what's going on. So, um, gotta put that before I go out. So, yeah, that's just my, um, take on that, you know what I'm saying? I like to, um, Um, I definitely like to be, um, in store when I shop for equipment, like almost, I would say probably, probably 70% of my equipment come from the store. Almost just the equipment that I got right now, my running gun set. That shit down there all came from every single thing. Only thing I got from Amazon was like. 
um, a charger because I lost my charger, so I I bought one of those um multiple charging uh, stations, multiple battery charging stations, and bought a gang of batteries. And then uh, I got a fucking a stand, like a I got a light stand from that bitch. All right, nah. What else did I get from Amazon? That's equipment. Not a damn thing, I don't think, bro. Nothing. Um, only the other thing that's equipment that came from Amazon is my streaming or this shit. The webcam and the goddamn microphone and the goddamn my little multi uh, my multi USB thing, converter thing. That's the only thing I got from goddamn Amazon that's equipment, bro. I don't know. I bought my shit from the store, so I ain't, you know, but, you know, neither here nor there. I'm going to just hit y'all niggas right now. First come to mind with cameras, I like, <coughs> I like to, um, tell people to start off with Canon Rebels, um, and if you ain't got no money at all, um, just get you an iPhone, like, you gotta have a phone, so I would say just if before you could like just take two, three, four hundred dollars buy a camera. Since you already gotta have a phone, just invest two, three hundred dollars into getting your iPhone. So that way you got a good camera and you still got a phone to use and it's already you starting off your business wise, being more business wise by having an iPhone. Um not only do people take you more serious when you have an iPhone. I know it sounds shallow, but the the the, the world is how it is, bro. You just can't argue with how people work work individually as humans. People take you seriously if you have an iPhone, especially when it comes to business. Um, let me see. Um, I'm trying to figure out more reasons. Oh, you got iMovie that's um, that you can edit straight on the phone. Then there's tons and tons and tons of apps that you can do edits and do um, little uh, effect effects and stuff like that. So you know, um, and it's quick. You know what I'm saying? You can like it's one of them things where like, bro, to this day, bro, I I, I use my phone to film shit that I, that, that I use in professional shit. You just some, sometimes you're not going to be able to tell. It's just like the way you edit it in and shit like that. It's just getting B-roll. I like to get a lot of B-roll, like a cool, like shit I see, you know what I'm saying? Like, a, just like a, like water dripping down the mountain or some shit like that. I'm driving by, you see that shit like that. So I take my phone out and get it. Try to get a good angle and get that shit, you know what I'm saying? Zoom in on it. It's just look distorted, but it's that footage distorted. So just think of when, okay, when, how could I use this distorted footage? It's not like it's bad footage all the time. Footage is footage, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you're pointing it at, you know what I'm saying? You, the footage is, is, is something of, of something beautiful. If it's distorted footage of something beautiful, then you can always use it, you know what I'm saying? Um. Anyway, moving on. Um, Canon Rebels. The lowest I would go is the T4i. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even bother with the T. Um, uh, the 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 regular Rebel without the eye. Um. The reason why I say that because it doesn't have flip screen. So anything but under four doesn't have a flip screen. Regardless if it's an eye or not, um, the T three eye might be a flip screen too. I'm not, I can't remember, but you need a flip screen. So the T four eye is the lowest I would go. Um, let me see. Yeah, I need better desk. This shit is so noisy. And the T4, I'm trying to see what's the lowest. Okay, I'm seeing 200. Okay. So body only, you can get one for about 200. And then the lens, nine times out of 10, if you you probably can catch one with it, with, with, with the stock lens on it for probably about Roughly three hundred dollars, 
And yeah, I would, I would, I would recommend that you start off with the the stock Canon lens, the Canon stock crop sensor lens. That's a good lens to start with. You, you ain't gotta worry about that. Um, you don't even want to even worry about getting into lenses right like that. Now let's just worry about the camera settings because lens is kind of gonna be easier to understand once you start working with the camera already so once you start working with that and you start learning more about aperture and shit like that and, and focus settings then you could move on you know what i'm saying so right now just focus on the actual camera and like learning your lighting learning the actual camera settings and um learning how lenses work all in general before you want to start figuring out the next lenses to your style or whatever whatever you want to however you want to go about doing that you know what i'm saying you you'll, you'll start figuring that out later so right now just worry about getting the canon uh rebel t4i or uh, or better just just don't go don't exceed the rebel rebel series for don't exceed the rebel series series for first camera um i would give y'all some honorable mentions but i'm a rider die canon person unless we talk in professional professional super professional camera then we can talk about other brands but when we talking about professional running gun music video and photography only other camera that i would even like i say even get one going later uh, get one up in cameras is the sony uh a7 a seven R three. That's the only other camera I would recommend to anybody besides a Canon series camera for a DSLR. Um, but anyway, let's go to. Um, I don't I, look, man. I want to show y'all at least like a Nikon verse, like, but I don't even know. I, I can't even tell you. I don't even know no equivalents, bro. I don't even want to. Just go on YouTube and type in like um, Canon T4 I versus Nikon, and then that the, the rest of the Nikon model will type pop up. Um, let's see here. Um. I bet I had to Google that shit for y'all. Lights, 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 lights. I ain't even really got to. Okay. So, okay. Like I said, bro, you don't want to. Light, lights, you don't want to go past $100. Just get you one little light. Like, you don't even really need a set of lights or nothing. Just get you one little small light like I got right here. This bitch was 50 bucks. I caught it on sale, though. It's really like, it was, man, this bitch was super sad. I think this light cost like one something. Um, retail, but I caught it for like 50 bucks, dog. This motherfucker do every color on the spectrum, all that shit. I was like, damn, this bitch hard for $50. Only thing, dog, don't keep a battery that long, but you could, you could, uh, it's a type C charge, and then it, you could, uh, charge it while it's, while it's running. So I got it on the charger right now. Um, and now I can't think of the brand Nan Light. Nan I think is I think is the brand. Um, good ass one. But if I ain't gonna lie, if you shoot music videos, you don't want two of those. Um, but it, there's there's ones that's a hundred. So let me video lights. And I'm just typing this straight into Google, y'all. Just getting a rough estimate. I'm not going to, into websites and shit. I'll break down what's what like. I'll do episodes on each one later. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I just want to give y'all like a rough, rough thing. Like I just, I do a whole podcast on, I mean, yeah, a whole podcast on cameras. Like, what's the best cameras to use and why? What's the what's good and bad about them? And what's the better for, as a ghetto camera, you know, nigga running gun camera nigga like us versus, you know, the niggas that's super professional with the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like. 
you know, how we, you know, when you coming up, like as you just, you got to be street hustling, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to invest too, too much money into your shit because you, you, you ain't one of these niggas that live in the suburbs where you, where your shit is more safe. You in the hood, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be a robbery risk, you know what I'm saying? Running around with all these fucking equipment, you know what I'm saying? And you doing fucking videos for all these rapper niggas that, that ain't got that much money either, you know what I'm saying? So it's not that, it's not smart to just, you know what I mean, running around with twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment, bro. No, you don't even want to go past like fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars worth of equipment. You get in the five, ten thousand dollar ranch and you shooting music videos for niggas in the hood. Bro, you pulling up to the motherfucking video shoot with more money than everybody got at the video shoot. And you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten. You know what I'm saying? So you got kicked out of an account that somebody, not even a rapper, somebody's looking at you like a lick now. You know what I'm saying? You not even probably finna make a home, nigga. Because now you got to think about it. The rapper, nigga, fuck with his homeboy more than you. And if his homeboy got the equipment now, why do they need you? You know what I'm saying? So... Think about that. You know what I'm saying? You got to, your, your respect level got to outweigh the amount of money and equipment you got. You know what I'm saying? So just think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, if you a big dog in the, in your town and you like, you like that, then cool. You can do that. You feel me? If you know you got a homeboy with you that have a strap or you got your own gun or whatever, then cool. But if you ain't known that, if you just like me, nigga, running around and you ain't got time for that, that you ain't even got to really time because you moving so much, ADD'd out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? PSD'd out, you you running, and you ain't really got time to think about that. And then like you cut like that too, like see that's the thing, that's another thing be like that, like nigga, it's like that. So like, I I don't want to even nigga looking at me like that because of the simple fact of it get like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like why? It's just it's just the whole point. It's just like. Why um, take your money when you first say, I'm going to start being a rapper and go buy chains and shit when you ain't even got no status in the game? You know what I'm saying? You'll pull up to the club thinking, you know what I'm saying? Didn't know nobody know you in the club. Then you look like you're doing too hard. Then nobody know you, you know what I'm saying? Not, not niggas in the club want to rob you, you know what I'm saying? Not you and your man's just targets. When you ain't have to even, you know what I mean? Have to even, no, nigga, wait till you get your weight up in the game. Make sure you got fans. Make sure you got other niggas that respect you. So when you show up, you know what I'm saying? It's love. It's, 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 it's that people want you there. They, it's not a who is this nigga and who the fuck he think he is stunting on us. You know you hear what I'm saying? Like, it's, that's, that's just a, that's just a, that's just street knowledge right there, period. So you want you always still want to think like a street nigga doing this shit because of the simple fact if you think you too big it's too Hollywood, niggas will bring you back down to reality, bro. Especially in Detroit. Fast niggas in the D do not play. Do not play, man. If you're in the D, do you know what I'm talking about? And you know exactly what I'm saying is real. So don't even play with niggas, bro. Like, why would you even play with niggas, bro? Camera, couple hundred dollars. Lights, couple hundred dollars. Audio equipment, couple hundred dollars. Boom, nigga, your whole setup costs less than a thousand, and you make it pro- pro- professional productions. If you listen to Smith, dog, I'm gonna get you right, baby. We gonna do this shit. Get on this journey with it, nigga. Man, shit. If you just not seeing this shit, wait, wait it out. I don't give a fuck about these views. Wait it out. Wait it out. Couple weeks. Wait it out. About two, three months. Then come back and watch every video, bro. Get this knowledge, bro. Boom. I see one right now. Sun Pack 96. This is 30 bucks, bro. Get three of these right here. Oh, fuck. Walmart. But, I mean, this Best Buy. Right now, guys. Get this. Get this shit a load, bro. Oh, it's because I ain't on the Wi Fi. I should be taking a long time for my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is strong as hell. Like, I really got to be way down the street for my Wi-Fi to cut off. So I, when I leave the house, I'll be having to manually cut my Wi-Fi off because I'll be trying to do something that should be freezing up because my Wi-Fi ain't strong enough for where I'm at, but it's still strong enough to not c- disconnect. It'd be like, dog, irritating as fuck. Right here, y'all. Yeah. Boom. See that? It's small as fuck. Light, compact. You get two, three of those. You can put them in a camera pack, nice and easy. Get you, a, get you three little light stands. They probably gonna be twenty dollars too. So that's like two hundred. That's two hundred dollars for your whole light setup. Boom. Boom. Hey, 
Damn, bro. I hang on all the stuff around right, bro. Let's keep going on. That was actually having for twenty dollars though. Okay, so I don't see it right now. I'm gonna have to pull up Amazon to answer that. Google image. Google image. Yeah, um, yep, yeah, twenty one dollars. Then you probably can find sets too. C two four hundred. Three from one twenty. Oh, these nice. No cap. These nice. But let me see. Hold on. For the niggas that's listening, I gotta say this. Uh, this is just. Hold on. It just. I'm trying to see what the title say on, to the to the post on Amazon. Oh, newer, newer three pack stainless steel lights. They cold, y'all. And those three for 120. Three pack kneewear, six feet, perfect. 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 Perfect, bro. Kneewear three piece, six feet, 75 inch photography tripod light stands. So kneewear three piece, six foot, y'all. Um, For those who's listening, 42 bucks. This is Amazon too. All the shit I'm talking about right now for these light stands is I'm looking on Amazon right now. So, what would I say? Three of those, three of those lights. Those were, those were thirty bucks. That's a hundred. Then the stands forty bucks. So that's one fifty for your whole light setup. And I'm pretty sure the uh, the lights come with an external uh, an internal battery, so you could just charge them up. You feel me? Throw them in your bag before you go to your shoot. You know what I'm saying? Boom. When you get to the shoot, boom. Just in case you, because, you know, a lot of times you don't need lights, so, you know what I'm saying? They're just there, you feel me? But, and then the, the, the I'm pretty sure that the stands are going to come with the cases too, so all shit going to look all professional and shit, you know what I'm saying? You got to worry about it. Put the little three little lights inside the camera bag. Good to go, dog. Good to fucking go, man. I'm at the cell, man. This shit won't like this when I started, bro. What? Damn, that's crazy, bro. Then light they small, nice and small too, so you could just do like the stands, nice small, compact, bro. You could just set them little motherfucking stands and corners and shit, nigga. Man, that shit be lit up and they don't even like take up no space. Like you just set them bitches right in corners and shit, bro. Nah. When you when you shoot music videos, you definitely want to have stabilization. So, you know, we want to go. We're gonna go to Amazon. And we're gonna type in DSLR rigs, guys. DSLR rigs, R I G S. That's all you gotta type in. Look. Type that in right there. DSLR rigs. What a slider for 200 bucks, bro. These used to be thousands of dollars when they first came out, dog. Nick, when the technology first come up, come out, bro, look. Crazy expensive, bro. But niggas get that technology, bro. And then people like that already mass produce a lot of this shit and already have a lot of these motherfucking um same um same um um, um materials and, and shit and know how they take to make the products. They just take the, the the format of motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, license it and make their own for a substantially lower amount and then and then look at this shit, bro. Okay. So this one right here, easy peasy, easy fucking peasy. That's the one you want right there, bro, when you first starting out. Put your DSLR on that, you good. And the reason why I say this one right here is because this is one you can start building with. 
Okay, it's easy as fuck. It's small. Look at that bitch. It's hard as fuck. You set your camera in the middle of that, you're gonna look professional as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you when you just swing your your swing your um the the camera thing, just take it, flop it back, boom. And when you have it, it's gonna be sitting out like this. You curve it up like this so you can see, and you hold it from the top. You swing that bitch to get your low angles like that, and that footage that you use like that, and do you do your little? I'm gonna I'm do a video on the two, bro. Um, it's this walk motion you gotta do. No matter how bumpy the footage is, after you do this walk motion, all you gotta do is put that shit in Final Cut Pro, and bro, and put the stabilizer on that shit, and boom, that shit gonna look just like a fucking round, and you ain't even gotta worry about it. But you, it's just you know, it's, some of the shit gonna look crazy, so you just gotta pick just the parts that you actually fucking need and that's actually fucking smooth a lot of motherfuckers just like they like they just pick any parts of the motherfucking footage in there like that should be weird to me like nah dog like even what you when even when you using the ronin bro you you have jittery moments in like real real weird look little motions and shit like little jerk moments and shit like that and niggas will put that in the footage thinking just because they got a roan in the footage is good so they can just take anything and like bro they don't that's a motherfucker that's not really a filmmaker this motherfucker just doing some shit for the money like you really gotta look at that fucking footage and see like what's good and make sure when you shooting too that you know you knowing what you want in the music video a real director knows what part he's filming with part you know what i mean that he really want in the footage anyway you know what i mean in the finished product anyway you know what i'm saying when you get in the footage so um you 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 kind of want to be making sure you getting those smooth transitions in the footage that you know you want to use anyway you know what i'm saying so don't even don't even trip nigga this this is this a good ass that's a perfect rig bro that's what i got no cap. That's the one you want right there, bro. Easy as fuck to use, bro. So easy. With not a lot of y'all boys. That bitch. Seventy five bucks, bro. Let me. And this Newer, that's crazy. Newer aluminum alloy camera video cage film movie making kit. With top handle dual hand grip. So really all you gotta do, but you know, type in what I typed in. It's, it's scroll down a little bit. It's to like the third or fourth post. Um, but um, and then when you scrolling through, you'll see all the other ones. So just look through and look at the little way they got the little setups here. When you when you go to uh, order that, look at everything else in there though, like just look at it, just get familiar with it. You know what I'm saying? All the different types, all the attachments and shit. You know what I'm saying? All the little shit there is, so you could so you can get you know what I'm saying? Just a feel of like what you whatever you gonna be doing the most and how you. You know, want to set your shit up to how comfortable you think you're going to be or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, everybody different. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you know, I'm not finna sit here and say, oh, this is the best. But, like, I'm telling you, it's starting out, like, at first just to keep costs low and maximize usage. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you're going to use and what you need actually going to be doing this shit like you don't want to spend money on something that that's expensive that you only going to use not that much because you're not you're not a big production house yet you know what i'm saying so you don't want to be you don't want to be uh, uh committing a thousand dollars to something that's that that that's really not going to change if you you know what I'm saying, like you you might have to spend this might cost a thousand dollars, but it's you only can get you only can maximize that product if you got this and this and this with it. You feel me? Then you gonna start looking 
super professional. But if you if you ain't got all of that other shit with it, why is you even trying to get a red? Why is you trying to get a red if you ain't got the big ass stupid lights with it? You ain't you know what I'm saying? Like you ain't got no you ain't got no energy back. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing to back with the other shit that keep comes to uh, deal with a red. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just be wanting a red or like you or or just say if you if you got. If you if you want a motherfucking um a a, a, ron, a, a ronin for stabilization, but you got a fucking you ain't you ain't got no you know what I mean like you ain't even uh but you no no they say you 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 want a ronin, but your job is um 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 shooting motherfucking comedy shows. You 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 you're not gonna be running around no comedy show with no ronin. You feel me? You need multiple cameras on tripods you know what i'm saying or 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 um or you need a crane or some shit like that you know what i mean like you don't so you, you, it's all about what you want to what you need to do for what you filming you know what i'm saying but like i say we 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 i'm teaching y'all how to start off being a a, a running gun photographer cameraman slash um, video cameraman, you know what I'm saying? Music video uh, shooter, nigga. So, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we, you, 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 we, all you need, real talk, camera, three hundred dollars. What I say? Um, the lights, uh, the whole set, hundred dollars with the with the uh, stands was forty fifty dollars. So that's one fifty for your lights. Um, the stabilizer was, um, how much was it? $75. Nigga, come on. Like, think about that shit, bro. Think about that, bro. To be a professional, everything professional. All the equipment I just showed y'all was professional equipment, bro. Everything. And then it's not, it don't look like, I'm telling you, bro, like, you're going to just, just these little shits, bro, like, they're not gonna notice that's a cheap ass four hundred three hundred dollar camera sitting there, bro. They're not going to think it for one second. So don't lose any kind of um confidence about your professionalism going into these shoots. Don't put in your head that you're less than, you know what I'm saying? Because you have a three hundred dollar camera, and somebody else that you know is shooting with a red or or a uh, Sony A seven three. You know what I'm saying? Like, do not for a second, please, bros. Do not, do not, do not let that shit discourage you, bro. When you got this equipment, I'm telling you, you can maximize and make your shit look exactly, not exactly like this, but you know what I'm saying? It's going to look professional. It's going to be professional enough for somebody to pay you a few hundred dollars to shoot their video. So, but you learning right now, you know what I'm saying? So, one, and then you got you hustling too, bro. So it's just like nigga shit. You got us, nigga, just starting off with a quarter, nigga. Starting off with a quarter, man. We working up to that. Oh, you feel me? I mean, shit. <laughs> we working up to that motherfucker. Oh. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I, 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 I was debating on getting the motherfucking uh, sound bar thing. I mean, the little, the little uh, sound effect thing, but I don't know. I might. Let me know if I should get one of them bitches in the comments if y'all niggas even give a fuck. Um, anyway, transitioning. Rap talk. Rap game. <laughs> nah. I got to talk about one of my favorite niggas, though, man. Real talk. Because this nigga don't get enough shine. Like, listen, bro. This nigga ain't the best nigga, but he the best nigga. You dig? Like, it's one of them type of situations with dog. My nigga Cash Kid, dog. You know what I'm saying? Eastside Finest. I just feel like this nigga, uh, lyrically, is just like... um. Lyrically, he's the only nigga who, like, 
and body Wayne shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just the way he come up and deliver bars. To come up with it and the way he deliver his bars. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, like, he's the only nigga with that skill level of coming up with them and delivering them. You dig? Like, don't get me wrong. The nigga has not mastered it by far yet. But the only nigga I'm saying that can understand how Wayne does it and be able to deliver it in some fashion. You did what I'm saying? Like, I don't think nobody else can rap like that. Like, like that. But him and Wayne, like, I, I feel like the way, the complexity of those bars. I mean, I, I, get, I get battle rap. Some battle rap niggas can do it. But they don't know how to make a song, too. They don't know how to, like, hit the, like be on that beat and just, you know what I'm saying? With that shit, like, this nigga Cash Kid, bro, like. Bro, motherfucking 9 p.m. in Miami, Zorbus, um, 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 motherfucking, um, what's the shit with that nigga say, uh, damn, I can't even think of the name of that motherfucking song right now, dog. That shit where that nigga be talking about uh bitch can't bitch can't call me his government name, bitch privileges. There we go. Bitch you ain't got them privileges, ho. <laughs> but no, nah, hey, real talk though. I just seen the nigga the last video, man. The nigga shining, got all type of chains and shit now. The nigga is all type of forms in the videos now, man. Every other video, the nigga Airbnb running around acting crazy with his homies and shit. The nigga crazy, man. The nigga getting that money, man. Shout out, shout out to Joseph, bitch ass. Come back and show that nigga continue this career because I don't know what was going on after that nigga did on my mama, but it was real slow progress. But then when the nigga Joseph came in the game, the nigga, he been um, kind of consistent ever since. And not a nigga rich. So salute, Cash Kid, man. Heavy lyricist, one of the best out the D. Uh, he deserves everything he got going on. Shout out to Big Sean for throwing him on that motherfucker with Eminem. Now Cash Kid can say he's on that song with Eminem. He's in the books as one of the greatest rappers of all time. Cause that nigga did a song with Emma fucking M, nigga. I feel like that that's that's any rapper past to get in the game from the year 2000 and up, nigga. If you did this all with Eminem, you off-rap, off-rip in the best rappers of all time because you did this all with Eminem. Like, every rapper that did a song with Eminem is in the greatest rappers of all time. Just off the sole fact that they did a song with Eminem. If you don't agree with that, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> Plain and simple, nigga. This nigga, listen, bro. Listen, bro. For one, the bars alone, bro. The bars alone really put him there. I had this argument with so many niggas. Like, how can you not think Cash Kid is not one? Of, uh, it's one of the best. Like. Especially if you're from the D. Like, I don't get it. Like, d listen to what he's saying on the songs, bro. Like, that's what it is. A lot of niggas can't get, don't get what the nigga be saying. Are you, Bro, the nigga said. The nigga said, I keep a stick. And, like, I'm blind. I keep a stick and my dogs with me. Like, that lines like that when that nigga said, hold on. This is when, this is one of the most greatest bars of all time. When that nigga said. Um, the free balling line, bro, on, on privileges, bro. I can't even think of it right now. That nigga said, that nigga said, I'm so ironic. That bitch say, that nigga say, so ironic, she gave me the draws for the free ball. Listen, it sounds so simplistic when you hear it, bro, but that's one of the most Difficult lines you can come up with 
ever, bro. That's word play. That's how you play with words at the highest level, bro. Just really think of it, bro. This nigga said, how ironic. See, this is a part of the shit the niggas won't even understand. That's part of the line, bro. And he's letting you know he's finna say something that's so crazy, bro. He says, how ironic. She gave me the draws for the free ball. Like, think about that. If she give you her draws, right, and you don't pay, she just gave you the pussy for free, right? Now, think about this. If she literally, physically, tangibly give you her draws, she's now going to be free balling. But before that, he let you know. How ironic. How ironic that this bitch gave me her draws without giving me her draws. Or let me hit it with her. Or she's free balling without free ball. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Well, she is free balling because she had to take the penalty song. She probably still free balling, bro. I don't know. I gotta ask Cash here. Is the bitch still free balling or not? I got I still at this point, years later, my nigga still stuck. Cause I don't know if this bitch got her draws back from you or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, did she pay you in panties, nigga? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Duh. Oh fuck. Canaan, season one. Ooh. Damn. Um, yeah. I'm trying to see what the fuck <laughs> going to happen with Neek more so than um how he going to find out that, that was his dad. And because I know everybody want to know. Like, that's probably what's on everybody's mind. Like, nobody give a fuck about that. I, I guarantee you majority niggas is wondering. How in the fuck is he going to find out? Because then you got to know he going to find out. That's the whole. Come on, bro. It's not power if he don't find out. nigga. It is not power if he don't end up beefing with his mama. So, we got to understand. Like, it's come, come out. It's just what season, how far into the season, if it do be the next season, what the fuck is going on? Please let me know. Comment some shit about this. Please. I want to know what niggas thinking about this, bro. It's like, I be in this bitch working this shit. I just be watching. Then I, you know what I'm saying? Come in this bitch like, all right, boom. I got to put this in this episode and shit like that. But I ain't like, come on, dog. Like, oh, dog, that shit crazy. I'm trying to figure out like, but like, why she have to have him do it? Like, what the fuck? Like, you trying to teach this nigga lesson that bad? Mamas is cruel. Women are cruel, bro. Like, you would do that to your son. Like, my mama done did some grimy shit to me as a mama. But damn, that's fucked up. Like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Shit. What the fuck made that bitch do that? Like, that was... That's what... <laughs> Real talk, that's what I was more bothered about. I was like... When I found out, like, that was what it was. Because I'm like, why is he there? I was like, what's going on? Like, what's, what's, what's with this? I'm like, this don't even sound, seem, sound, look right or smell right. I was like, this bitch, this, I was so confused. I was like, why would, is this nigga got the jacket? Why is he here with the gun in this nigga face? Framing Neek. I don't get it. I just didn't get it. I didn't, I, I got why they was using Neek to frame him and that and this and that. But, like. Why did they, why she had Kane do it, bro? Please, somebody help me explain that shit, bro. It's no lesson that you're trying to teach that damn bad, dog. Well, you convince your son to kill his goddamn daddy without him knowing that he killing his goddamn daddy. That was some of the most grimiest shit I've ever seen in film. I swear to God. And you got to already know that's 50 style, too. That's his style. Do some fuckery like that. Sheesh. Damn, 50. Why you let that bitch write that? I'd be like, nah, that's, that's a little crazy right there. I ain't got to let a nigga, let a nigga do that. Just hurt having a nigga killed without him knowing it's snakey enough. You ain't got to have a nigga kill him. Sheesh. You know what I mean? Like, dude, am I tripping? Like, was that a lot? Like, was that a... 
to me, that was just a lot. Like, shout out to the one little nigga. I can't think of the little nigga name. Um, Damn. Damn, the little rapper nigga, man. Shout out to him for getting this motherfucking song on the radio, though. I want to see him. I'm trying to see how that how that turned out, man. I hope he don't get killing down out there in Jamaica, man. Because <laughs> the little nigga, man, he on his way, man. The little nigga on his way, man. You dig? Um, I just hope his sister don't cheat on dog, like. That's what I'm concerned about. Because she seems like she a little brother. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. A little mukbang for y'all at the end of the show. Damn, that bitch is good. The blue and next. So that being said, I'm out this bitch, y'all. I'm gonna talk to you niggas for an hour. Yeah, man. Hope y'all niggas, um, hope that was informational, man, to y'all niggas, man. I hope somebody see this shit, man. Take that little, what's that? Hold on, let me do a little calculation right here. Camera 300. Lights. 150, that's 450. Then the motherfucking uh, thing was 75. That's 525, y'all. Yeah. 525, you're a professional cameraman. Buy that. Keep watching this. Don't worry what to do with that. Pocket's gonna be fat. Dopest motherfucking podcast. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to teach niggas how to get rich, man. Ain't nobody doing that. Ain't nobody teaching y'all niggas how to get rich, bro, like this. If a nigga take this shit and watch this shit and then you got him, I'll be that nigga, man. That ain't trip. I'm out this bitch though. Oh, damn, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Y'all finna let me forget. Dreamrealitybrand.com, bro. Dreamrealitybrand.com, dog. Cop them t shirts, man. Cop them t shirts. Follow me on the ground. Smitty shot you. Follow Dave at Dexter with an A. Two underscores, Dave. Dope Films Podcast, man. I'm out.